Elite Facts presents Famous Last Words from Death Row 22 Ted Bundy is one of the most infamous serial killers ever to be caught. During the 70s, he was convicted of murder and rape on dozens of occasions, and it's believed a lot more that have gone unconvicted. In 1989, he was executed by the electric chair, saying, I'd like you to give my love to my family and friends. 21. Robert Alton Harris was convicted of murdering two teenage boys for no reason. He was executed in the gas chamber in 1992, saying, You can be a king or a street sweeper, but everyone dances with the Grim Reaper. 20. Rocky Barton was found guilty of murdering his wife. In 2006, he was executed by lethal injection, saying, I love you all. I'm sorry for what I've done. I'm sorry for killing your mom and what I've done to you. 19. Carlos Granado stabbed his girlfriend to death after an argument, and he also killed her three-year-old son. He was executed in 2007 by lethal injection, saying, Kathy, you know I never meant to hurt you. I gave you everything, and that's what made me so angry. But I never meant to hurt you. I'm sorry. 18. Roger Keith Coleman's case was shrouded in controversy, with the killer even appearing on Time's front cover. His case was ultimately proven to be correct with DNA evidence making him guilty. He was executed by electric chair in 1992, saying, An innocent man is going to be murdered tonight. When my innocence is proven, I hope all Americans will realize the injustice of the death penalty as all other civilized countries have. 17. Carl Panzam was probably already annoyed at being caught and sentenced to death, so he didn't want things to drag on more than they needed to. He was hanged in 1930, saying, Hurry it up, you Hoosier bastard. I could hang a dozen men while you're screwing around. 16. John Avalos Alba was on bail for child molestation charges. When he found out that it was his wife who got him arrested, he shot her. He was executed by lethal injection in 2010, saying, Okay, warden, let's do it. I love y'all. I can taste it already. I'm starting to go. 15. Amelia Dyer is probably the worst offender on the list, thought to have murdered around 400 children. She was hanged in 1896, saying, I have nothing to say. 14. James Allen Red Dog decided to stab five men to death in the early 90s for no reason at all. He was executed in 1993, saying, The rest of you can kiss my ass. 13. Christina Marie Riggs obviously doesn't know how hell works, judging by her last words, as she murdered her two young children for no reason other than her own depressive state. She was executed by lethal injection in 2000, saying, There is no way words can express how sorry I am for taking the lives of my babies. Now I can be with my babies as I always intended. 12. Francis Crowley was a typical street thug who go ideas above his station. The self-proclaimed gangster thought he could get away with criminal behavior and murder. He was executed by electric chair in 1931, saying, You sons of bitches, give my love to mother. 11. Jeffrey Dahmer raped and killed 17 males during the whole 80s. He showed no remorse for his killings during his trials and time on death row. He was beaten to death while on death row by an inmate, saying before the act, I don't care if I live or die. Go ahead and kill me. 10. James W. Chambers fatally shot Jerry Ostricker and was remorseful about his action on his deathbed. He was executed in 2000, saying, I understand the feelings of the Ostricker family and I ask their forgiveness. I want to stress to them that I did not go down there that night to harm Jerry. I deeply regret how it turned out. 9. James French was a convicted murderer, but he had a sense of humor about him as he went to meet his maker. He was executed in 1966, saying, How's this for a headline? French fries. 8. James Jackson had no reasons to murder his wife and two stepdaughters, and was executed in 2007, saying, See you all on the other side. Warden, murder me. I'm ready to roll. Time to get this party started. 7. George Apple murdered a police officer not long after the First World War. He was executed by electric chair in 1928, saying, Well, gentlemen, you're about to see a baked apple. 6. John Wayne Gacy is also known as Killer Clown. Over a six-year span in the 80s, Gacy killed 33 men. He was executed by lethal injection in 1994, saying, 
kiss my ass. Five. Timothy McVeigh was the perpetrator of the USA's biggest terrorist atrocity before 9-11. He killed 168 people in the Oklahoma City bombing, including 20 children, and injured 600 in total. He was executed by lethal injection in 2001, saying, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Four. Erskine Childers obviously thought he could do it better and wanted things done efficiently at his own execution. He was executed by firing squad in 1922, saying, Take a step forward, lads. It will be easier that way. 3. Peter Curtin was nicknamed the Vampire of Dusseldorf for his atrocious crimes. He raped and killed 60 people and went on record as having drank the blood of at least one. He had no remorse and even hinted at his vampiric delights before his death. He was executed by guillotine in 1931, saying, Tell me, after my head has been chopped off, will I still be able to hear, at least for a moment, the sound of my blood gushing from the stump of my neck? That would be a pleasure to end all pleasures. 2. Jose Villegas was a triple murderer and convicted to death because of them. He was executed by lethal injection in 2004, saying, It does kind of burn. Goodbye. 1. Monster was a biographic film made about Eileen, starring Charlize Theron. In a single year, she murdered seven men, often hitchhiking as a guise to kill. She was executed by lethal injection, saying, I'd just like to say I'm sailing with the rock, and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus, June 6th, like the movie Big Mother Ship and All. I'll be back. Thanks for watching another amazing video, folks. Subscribe for more from Elite Facts.